Hello, eighth grade graduates, families, and staff. As the homeroom teacher for the seventh and eighth grade class, I typically give a speech sharing my reflections on the year. I'd like to do that even though we cannot gather in person this year. Uh, before I address the kids, I'd like to say thank you so much to all of the parents who've been working double time to help your kids with their schoolwork at home. I'm sure you never expected to have to do that, and I know it was a burden to many of you. Thank you for working so hard to help your children during this difficult time. Thank you also to the awesome staff at Summit who have been working to adapt our whole school structure to do something we never expected we would have to do. It's been challenging for everyone, and we've risen to the occasion. Now, to my eighth graders. First, let me all say, let me say that I miss you so much. I am so sorry that your eighth grade year got cut short, robbing you of the memories you may have otherwise made. I wish we could have had all the fun end of your experiences with you before sending you along. However, congratulations is due. You have officially made it to the end of your middle school years. You've grown so much. You're taller, stronger, and smarter than you were only a year ago. For the past nine months, or sorry, for the past nine years, you have worked hard to learn the essential skills that will help you succeed as you move into the next chapter of your life. Thank you for working hard to reach your goals. Your improvement and growth comes directly from the amount of effort that you have put into your education. Even if you don't think you've grown, you have. It hasn't been an easy road because life can be tough. Learning can be hard and growing can be painful. And that's without a pandemic going on in the world. However, the challenges you face and how you deal with them will help form your character and, I and identity as you navigate life. While you deal with the challenges life grows your way, I hope that you'll always remember that you're not alone. Think of all who would be at graduation if we could have a big gathering. Your family, your teachers, your friends are all cheering you on here in spirit. Just because we can't be with you right now, or just as we can't be with you right now, we won't be at your side during every struggle. However, always know that we are on your side. No matter where you end up, it will be my honor to cheer for, me, for you near from near or far even though you're leaving this little corner of your academic world all of the staff here are wishing nothing but the best for you you're already two-thirds of the way done with your required education you have four short years to learn all that you can to prepare yourself for college career and life after high school some of you will continue your education beyond that, and some of you may choose to work instead. Either is a great path, but I encourage you to always remain a lifelong learner and friend. Make the most of every opportunity given to you. Read as much as you can, listen carefully, and think critically. Be a good friend and treat everyone with kindness. Spread joy and be loving. You know you're missing your friends, and now you'll be moving on to high school in such an age of uncertainty. Moving to high school is intimidating enough in a regular year without all the pandemic going on. We don't know what next year's going to look like yet, and it's nerve-wracking and scary for you and for us. However, I want to remind you that you are tough. You can do difficult things. You can take on big challenges and face them because you are strong and resilient. Earlier this year, we read A Long Walk to Water, where we learned about the incredible, almost unthinkable challenges that Salva and Naya faced. Remember Salva's advice to take one step at a time, one day at a time. No matter what hardships you face, take it one step at a time. In his TED Talk, Salva said, to young people, I would like to say, stay calm when things are hard and not, or not going right with you. You will get through it when you persevere instead of quitting. 
quitting leads to much less happiness in life than perseverance and hope. My final instructions and requests for you as you move into the next phase or stage of your education are these. Stay young at heart because the vision of the young helps change the world. Stay hopeful and persevere, not just to make it through, but to surpass expectations. Take advantage of every great thing that's offered to you so that when it's your chance, you can make a difference in the world. Congratulations, guys. I love you, and I miss you, and I wish you the best.